Hey everyone, I'm Shaylin here with Readsly. Today we're going to be talking about how to get book reviews. So in our last video, we talked about having a successful book launch and a really important part of having a good book launch is getting those reviews in. Book reviews have a huge impact on sale and can really boost your discoverability on the Amazon algorithm. But it's also a bit of a chicken and egg situation. You need sales to get reviews, but you also need reviews to get sales. There are several different ways that you can get reviews and get early reviews. I'm gonna cover quite a few of them throughout this video. I'm gonna start with the main one, which is through Book Blogger, because this is where there's the most etiquette to consider. Now, step one is to identify your audience. There are tons of book bloggers out there, but they all have different tastes in books, and you wanna think carefully about who you pitch to. If you reach out to bloggers who aren't interested in the genre or category you write, you're either going to get declined a lot or you risk getting negative reviews. It doesn't take much to figure out what a book blogger's interests are and genre tastes are because they literally talk about all of the books that they read. So do your research and make sure to only pitch to bloggers who actually fit into your target audience. You won't be doing yourself any kinds of favors by pitching your book to bloggers who don't read in your genre. As a bit of a personal anecdote, I get a lot of requests to review fantasy books and I have to decline them because I don't review fantasy. But to me, it also sends the message that this person hasn't really done their research. I always have to say to these requests, I'm sorry, but I don't review fantasy and I would risk giving you a pretty negative review because it's just not a genre I'm interested in. It could be an excellent fantasy book, but I might not enjoy it because it's just not to my taste. It might seem like a best case scenario if that person says, yeah, I'll review your book even though it's not my genre, but it's almost a worst case scenario because you're risking a bad review because the book isn't to this person's taste. You also wanna consider your audience more widely and where they might see reviews, on blogs, on Goodreads. Where do you want these reviews to be located? You can do this by looking at books in your genre and seeing where the community hub is. You also wanna start thinking about your book's comparative titles. Now I know coming up with comp titles can be really difficult and sometimes it can feel difficult to just come up with one or two. In order to find bloggers, you wanna think of as many as you can. In fact, you probably want to think of at least 15. You want most of them to be fairly recent. You want a mix of bestsellers and indie titles, and you want books that were reviewed fairly positively. Comp titles can help point you towards your audience. You want to find the blogs where these books were reviewed. You want to see the websites where these books were reviewed. It will help find readers and it will help you find bloggers. Step two is to find the blogs. We do have a book blogger directory, so I will leave a link to that in the description. When you're looking to send your book out for review, make sure that the blogger is open to queries at that moment. Again, be mindful of genre and blog traffic, but don't shy away from sending to smaller blogs. There are some high traffic blogs that might not even be interested in reviewing indie work, or they'll have so many queries that it's just less likely that they'll take on your book. Research where your comp titles were reviewed and then see if those blogs are open to queries at that moment and if the blog overall looks like a good fit. As a really advanced tip, you can subscribe to a mention account and set up Google alerts on your comp title so that you can see every single time a new review for your comp title gets posted and you might discover some new outlets that way. Step three is the pitch. The two basic rules here are to individualize it and keep it simple. You also wanna make sure to read the review policy. Some blogs might have a form, some ask for emails. Don't send bulk reviews that aren't personalized, but do mention in your review that you read their review of your comp title and that's why you think that this book would be a good fit. Be as concise, but also informative as possible. You wanna include your title, the release date, the genre, the category, your publisher, and finally, a brief description of the book. Reviewers want to be able to discover the next big thing, so give them the opportunity to be the first to get the word out. Don't bother reviewers for an answer to your query daily. Give them about a week to reply to you first. You also don't want to follow up more than two times after your initial query. If you get ignored three times, that's probably a sign that the reviewer isn't interested in reviewing your book or just that they're not actively blogging at this moment. And step four is to send the book out. Ah, the terrifying part. Again, this depends on the blogger's preferences. Some will want a physical copy, although nowadays most are just looking for an ebook arc. You also want to create a spreadsheet of who you've submitted to, who you've sent the book out to, who's responded, and who's reviewed the book. And remember that once you've submitted a book for review, it is out of your control. There is always the risk that the review will be negative, but that is a risk you have to take on if you're trying to get book reviews. The more reviews you get, the more likely there will be a negative one in there. If you do get a negative review, remember that that's fully in the reviewer's right. Don't ask them to take it down or send them a long email explaining why you don't agree with them. Book reviewers build credibility by being honest. 
they can't give every single book they read a five-star rating to continue just querying your book to other bloggers to gain more reviews. Now that's the formal standard way of getting reviews, but there are a few other things that you can try out. However, keep in mind that some of these involve just reaching out to regular old folk rather than book reviewers specifically. So there is a risk that you'll get a lower quality of review, whereas with a book blogger, you're expecting a certain caliber of review where it's probably going to be fairly professional and well articulated. Rather than reaching out to bloggers, you can just post an ARC sign up, say on your social media, where bloggers can come to you and request an ARC if they like. You can do this in conjunction with pitching to other reviewers to kind of get the best of both worlds, both of people coming to you and you going to them. Many reviewers also request eARCs through NetGalley, so you can set your book up there, and it means that you'll have a reach that's wider than just your own personal social media following. And finally, did you know that we actually have our own reviewing platform called Readsy Discovery? I will leave a link to it in the description. Essentially, what you can do is register in order to be matched with a reviewer. You can sign your book up to be discovered from a community of over 300 reviewers, so it's a really easy way to get a quality review without the whole complicated mess of pitching. And then you also can have your book featured on our discovery feed and potentially in a weekly newsletter. It's kind of like NetGalley meets Goodreads in that way. So that's how to get book reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos from us. We've got new writing, publishing, and editing videos coming at you every Tuesday and Friday. Until next time.